Hi guys, I hope you're out there killing it. I'm Brett, this is the Codoverse. This is a place where we dive deep into all things development, design, and have a bit of fun along the way. Before we get started, if you're new here or you're just back for more, welcome to the channel, it's great to have you. All right, so today on the channel, I'm gonna be showing you two ways that I use to help remove backgrounds from images. Now, there are a lot of programs out there that will do them for you, but for the purposes of this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you in Adobe Photoshop. Now, if you do want to see videos later on, I am going to be posting one that's for Affinity Web Design and a completely different way that you're not actually going to even have to use any of these programs. So if you stay tuned, I'll show you and you don't even need to have an Adobe Creative Cloud account to do it. Alright, so as you can see here, I've opened up a brand new Photoshop window on my MacBook. So what we're going to do here is we're going to take the background off this image that I've pre-downloaded. Now, so basically, uh, for the purpose of this, we're pretty much trying to select just the man in the middle and get rid of all the forests. So there's a couple ways you can do this. Um, the first I'm going to show you is by using the pen tool. So if we zoom in on the subject and we select um, our pen tool, Now, I'm going to do this very quickly, but it will be a really good way to show you how to do it. Now, I realize that for the purposes of this, I'm not going to go into a huge amount of um, accuracy in pretty much going around this, this character. Uh, if this was for a client, basically what I'd do is I'd end up um, probably zooming in using the pen tool a bit differently and making sure that I'm going right around the curves of this guy's body, but uh, we don't really want to do that because it's going to take too much time for the video, but I'm just going to show you how we can do it without needing. So here is always going to be the tricky bit. Um, so luckily for this, we're not going to have to worry. And this guy's got a pretty smooth afro that, well, you know, it's going to be pretty easy to cut out. All right. So we're almost done here. Um, basically what I'll do is I'll continue cutting around here. Like I said, I know this is not going to be super accurate because obviously we're not taking the time to go around his entire body. Alright, so as you can see here, we've now got our, our subject completely selected. Alright, so now that we've got this guy completely selected with the pen tool, what we can then do is click up here where it says make and we're going to make a selection on this. You can change the feather radius on it, which should generally make your um, lines a lot smoother or rougher depending on you know what you're selecting. For this I'm just going to put five, it doesn't really matter either way. But um, alright, so now you can see we've got our subject there. Now there's two ways that you can do it from this point. You can either just press Command X or Control X and cut them out and paste them into a new layer. So now we've got our subject, you know, freely that we can move around. Now that was one way to cut him out, but if we go back to here where we've got him selected, another way you can do it to remove just the background is by clicking the select and actually inversing the layer. So now what we've done there is we've actually selected the background completely around him rather than himself. So if we just click delete, um, we don't want to content where, well, you can just go for the foreground color, then bang, we have our subject then cut out, which is probably one of the easiest ways to cut out a subject in Photoshop. So that was our first way done on how to cut out a subject using Photoshop. The next one we're going to do is going to be a slightly complicated, more complicated version, but it also kind of 
does the same or has the same effect. Alright, so as you can see, we've now got our subject here again completely unpathed, so we're not using the pen tool anymore. So, this one may seem kind of obvious, but what we're going to do is then choose the eraser. Now, what you're going to want to do in this case is create a duplicate layer of this and then we can start erasing the picture. So if we go and get our eraser brush here, basically what we're going to want to do is zoom in on the person and we can start clicking and if you hold shift, the next place you click is going to create a line. So once again we will do this fairly rough but we will go ahead and go around this person using the eraser tool Alright, so as you can see here, skip forward a bit, we've basically gone around the outside of our um, subject here. Now we've done this very poorly, um, and for a professional's work, it probably you probably want to zoom in a bit more and do it a bit more carefully than what I have, but this is only for the purposes of this tutorial. Now, what you can do then, because you've cut out around the edges, is you can actually just go ahead and erase the rest of the background around it. Excuse me, cutting off his feet. Uh, the only issue with this process is you do have to generally be pretty careful with how you are cutting um, these these subjects out because there is it is quite easy to make mistakes here and actually cut too far into them. So if you just gradually increase your brush size here, you can actually just get rid of all the layers and background around him. And eventually at the end of it, you will be left with just your subject there. So that worked pretty averagely, but it's still another way you can do it. All right, so the third way that I'm gonna show you how to do this today is going to be using one of the tools that's already built into Photoshop. Now this is going to be a super easy tool and basically it's probably the way you're going to want to do it rather than trying to cut it out or you know path around the object or subject yourself. Now see in Photoshop they've got this little thing up here so if you go into your select and you can actually say go for subject right so once you do that this is automatically going to go select what Photoshop believes is your subject. Now, what you can do from here is you can either, you know, press Control X, cut them out, or you can press Command Shift I and actually inverse the selection and delete the background around him. So that's another way. That is a lot easier than probably what we did in the first two examples. So if you go up the top here and click on Select and go Select and Mask, it's basically going to give you the options here where you can go through and tidy up. Alright, so using that method was clearly a lot easier than using the other ones. So, it's probably the way I would recommend doing it. Now, it's not always going to be 100% accurate, so you are going to have to go through and adjust basically your selection. You can click up here and go select, select and mask. And in this field, you actually have the options to adjust how the, um, the subject has been captured. Now, I would probably recommend doing this if you had something that was a bit more complicated than what we're dealing with, but because this is a pretty straightforward subject and it's easy to cut out, we shouldn't have to worry too much about how Photoshop decides to cut this person out. So there you have it. So that's the probably three ways that we've gone over on how to cut out a person using Photoshop. Now, it doesn't have to be a person, it can be a dog, a cat, 
whatever your subject is, maybe you just want to remove something from a thing, from a picture, or you just want to cut out a specific part of a photo or anything like that. So that does it for this video. Comment down below if you have any questions, suggestions, opinions on the video, if you think that is the better way. If you want to tell me I'm wrong, or you want to tell me I'm right, or you want to thank me, or anything, just do it down in the comments. I'll read them or I'll respond to you. If you have any video requests that you'd like, any design tutorials that you think should be done better, or you'd like to see done in a different way, then just tell me what you want, and I'll do it for you. That's why I'm here. So don't forget to destroy that like button, smash the subscribe if that's something you're into. If you want to see more videos from me, if you want to be part of this community, grow with this channel, you know, that that's what you got to do. You've just got to hit that subscribe. I have a bunch of really cool videos, tutorials, development, design, SEO, everything. We're going to be going through the bunch of it, so do stick around, you know, smash that thumbs up, subscribe if you want to, if that's something you're into, put your notification bells on because we're going to have a lot of videos that are really going to help you level up your skills this year and hopefully next year and for the rest of your career. So until next time, it's been a pleasure. As always, I'll see you in the next one. And, you know, comment down your... Now, from there, basically what you're going to do... You f***.